Hello, in today's video we'll talk about the Simmons-Smith reaction, which is simply converting an alkene into a cyclopropane. But before we talk about this reaction, let's go back and uh, take a look at a reaction that we've already seen before. When we take an alkene and we treat it with diazomethane. And we treat that with some light, and what's that going to make? That's going to generate this product right here. CH2 and then our dashed methyl, like that. You could also, you would probably also see it represented like this. But we realize that there's stereochemistry involved. So both are, this one's the most correct. Okay, but the main point that I'm trying to make here is remember when we, we treated an alkene with diazomethane, we would generate the cyclopropane ring right here, okay? Now, doing this reaction gets you this product in very good yield, but the reaction is very dangerous because it's explosive. And so that's why we have the Simmons-Smith reaction because we're going to take this same starting material and we're going to get to the same product it's just the reagents <coughs> are going to be different. And those different reagents make it uh, not dangerous. And so what we have here, CH2I2. And then we have CH2 like this. And we have two of those and a zinc like that. Okay. CH2. Now when we take these reagents and add them together, we're going to get the same product. And we're not going to generate a carbene. With the diazomethane, you generate a carbene, which is very reactive and explosive. In these, with these reagents, we do not create a carbene, and the reaction is a whole lot more controllable and less dangerous. Now the mechanism for this transformation is you're going to take your diodomethane and you're going to react it with the diethyl zinc species. And what's going to happen when you do that, plus our diethyl zinc, all right, I'll just spell it out. What's going to happen is that the zinc is going to slip in and replace and insert itself between the iodide and the carbon, okay? So it's going to look something like this, where it will insert and we'll have a CH2, maybe I'll, I'll draw it like this. Okay, so there's one of the iodines, and then we'll insert the zinc, and then we will attach the other iodine right there, all right? So before, what would the Lewis structure look like? It would look like this. Like this, okay? And so what? we're just adding a zinc source here, and what does the zinc do? It just inserts in between to get this species right here. And that's the reactive species that we want to take a look at when this is treated with the alkene. Okay. And so this mechanism is pretty slick. So I'm going to redraw the starting material right here. Squeaky markers. Okay. And what's going to happen is we position the zinc like so put our CH2 here. I'll just do it like this. I, right there. Uh, let's see. I want to orient it a little bit different here. So we'll do CH2 there. You know, I, I need more board space is what's going to happen. So let's see if we can do it without it. And, yeah, let's give myself some more space.
ink, and then highlight that. All right. So I've just taken our new zinc species there, and look at these, this mechanism here. What happens is we have a double bond, right, electron rich. So that's going to attack the carbon like so. But this zinc carbon bond is weak, and that's going to come in and attack that carbon like so. And that's going to get us our uh, cyclopropane ring right there. And this is kind of crazy, but what happens is this carbon iodide bond right here. Let's see. I drew that arrow wrong. I'm going to come in and attack there. Like that. And then that, those three arrows right there, is going to turn into our product shown there. You can see that we're adding from the, a top face or from underneath. It doesn't matter because the zinc species can approach that planar piece of that molecule from either face. <coughs> so what do I mean by that? It could have very well have approached from underneath, so it would have looked like this. And then we would have a wedge methyl like that. But then we, this species in orange right here is going to turn into this. Like so. And that's the Simmons-Smith reaction. A much safer way of making your cyclopropane rings than using the diazomethane method.